I don't know about you, but it currently feels like I'm playing Legends of Aurelian Soul and not Legends of Runeterra. It's very clear he is dominating the meta and you have two options. You can either can my deck win against Aurelian Soul or you are the Aurelian Soul deck. Although playing Aurelian Soul is fun and all, getting into constant mirror matches every game where huge celestials and dragons are clashing for 30 minutes or more can get quite boring. Therefore we're going to take a look at two decks, one of which is actually budget which can counter Aurelian Soul's strategy quite reliably. This video was made in collaboration with Bomber TV. First up is a deck featuring one of the new champions, Lulu, and is themed around the support keyword. It's very early game focused with 25 cards costing 1 or 2 mana. It features 22 cards from Damasia and 18 from Iona. It's very follower heavy, featuring 25 followers in total. Lulu is the new champion from Iona and it works quite well with the well-known barrier heavy strategy from Shen. This deck goes in a different path than the combo potential which we've also seen in the past with Fiora and Shen and instead goes for a more kind of aggro approach. Lulu and Shen work well together as Shen is a natural good supporter for Lulu's level up condition and Lulu leveled up can grant barrier very cheaply once she's leveled up through hell picks. So this can lead to Shen also leveling up very early. Help Picks is created at the start of each round once Lulu is leveled up and grants an ally barrier or an enemy vulnerable. In most cases in this deck you'll be using the ally barrier effect. We have a deck full of one drops which works fantastically well with both barrier and support mechanics in this deck. Greenglade Caretaker and Flower Child are both two good examples of this, but the example I want to focus on is Fleet Feather Tracker. So this one, also combined with Valor, which is summoned through Blinding Assault, can do some quite dirty moves. The aim of this deck is to basically put out one drops and using them as beat sticks and stick barriers on buff of these as necessary so they take out your opponent's cards quickly, paving way for easy nexus hits and an early win. Further use of the support keyword comes with either Lulu or Young Witch, and you can transform them into removals with bodies which can later do further traits or put the pressure on. Or you can give them Barrier with Shen and do all the tricks that this deck naturally runs like Repost and Prismatic Barrier. Overall this is a very solid deck, a very good matchup against Aurelian Soul, and pretty solid against other decks as well. This counters Aurelian Soul nicely as the deck gets up and running so quickly so your opponent won't be able to access many of the overpowered Celestial cards by the time you win. If the game does take a little bit longer, Genevieve Elmhart is on hand to try and close the game before Aurelian Soul comes to destroy all living things in sight. Bomber TV has done a more in-depth look at this deck on this channel so please check out the card in the top right now if you want to view this. So a lot of you will recognise this deck, it's the Crimson Elusive Burn deck that was very popular a few patches ago. It's another aggro deck that has a very low average cost with all the cards apart from 4 costing 3 or less mana. It's actually very budget with only featuring 3 copies of Zed which most beginners will actually have through the starter decks. This deck that we hate and have loved for quite a while now and it's always a nice option when control decks are too strong, which has never been more true with Aurelian Soul at the moment in its current form. With this deck, you just want to deal as much damage as possible early on. Elusive cards like Green Glade Duo and Navori Conspirator are perfect for this, what's being supported by early game burn cards like Imperial Demolitionist and Legion Grenadier. Around early to mid game, Start to finish things off with Burn, which can come from spells like Decimate or Nox and Favor. The most notable combos are Imperial Demolitionist into Crimson Disciple, dealing free damage to the Nexus simply by having Imperial's effect target Disciple when summoned. The other notable combo is having Navori Conspirator or Solitary Monk to recall Navori Blade Scout early on. So you can basically reuse Navori Blade Scouts over and over again and really take advantage of that one round elusive effect. 
Overall, this is another very solid aggro deck with great matchups against Aurelian Soul. And it also counters Aurelian Soul nicely as the deck has constant burn and elusive damage, which means you can take out your opponent before they have access to the overpowered Celestial cards. If the game is getting to that risky stage, there's two copies of Will of Iona to try and delay Aurelian Soul, the other powerful chart that it might get out before it basically gets out of control. Former TV has done a more in-depth look at this deck as well on his channel, so please check it out in the card in the top right hand of the screen now. Well there we go guys, hope you like this slightly shorter deck with counter style video. This is the first time I've actually covered a counter deck video before. Do you like this style of content? If so, please let me know in the comments. What decks have you been using to counter Aurelian Soul? Are you simply embracing him and using him before he gets nerfed? Thanks guys, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.